how the past 72 hours has changed the feeling so much around the athletic department at LSU. Not only LSU football, but Kim Mulkey getting that top 15 win last yep. night versus Iowa State. Will Wade and LSU remaining undefeated against a good Ohio team. And unranked. Two unranked. nights ago, still unranked. Love it. Um, and then Brian Kelly being introduced as the new head football coach just a couple of days ago. It feels as if LSU has tried, you know, you're, you're starting to see that bow of that, that tanker that they've been trying to turn around starting to starting to bend a little bit like you're starting to see it turn and get into a direction where you're starting to see some light and you're starting to see scott woodward this is scott woodward university it's Athletic absolutely you can say it like that scott woodward university i mean he's made all the hires for it all the big absolutely sports, scott for woodward's Wade. vision and uh you know you'll start to see that with jay johnson in baseball coming up here in a couple of weeks when they get on the field and start working out uh and looking towards february to open up their season um, he really but has. right now, right now does feel like, and if you were a part of the fan base and kind of can and, and really can recall what 2000 was like around LSU times where Skip was still coaching the baseball team. They had won a national championship in 2000. Nick Saban had just got here and really changed the energy around LSU football, I still to this day think that the 2001 basketball team that went to the, uh, yeah. to, to went to the, 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 the Sweet 16 is one of the best basketball teams that nobody talks about. They lose to Wisconsin. Um, lost to Wisconsin. So, yeah, I, was, I remember Stro that. Mile, I was watching that game. Stromile and Jabari Smith yeah. and Torrey Br yeah, uh, Torres Stromile Bright. Yeah, with the, with the wings. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I still see him blocking um, Chris, was it Chris Milne, the Texas center? Mm-hmm. Uh, who was a lottery pick to the Cleveland Cavaliers? Pre Lloyd. Um, I used to be a. But if you were around, if you were around during that time, you got the feeling like, wow, LSU is about to explode onto the scene. Like what always kind of felt like a mom and pop shop that was smaller than it should have been. Like, but delicious. why is this so? That why does nobody pay attention to this thing? It's so attractive. Right. And and finally, you get the right people in place to really kind of bring it to the forefront. It feels as if that's about to happen again mm -hmm. with the athletic department, the entire athletic department. It feels like the right people are in line. Will Wade reiterated what uh, Dr. William Tate and what Brian Kelly said, um, you know, just a couple of days ago with the alignment where you've got from top to bottom the straight vision and the same vision where everybody's on the same page and pulling in the same direction, where in years past it really has felt like LSU was fighting themselves. I mean, it really felt like LSU was their biggest deterrent. Like they couldn't get out of their own way. And now it feels like from a leadership perspective, both from the institutional side and in the athletic department, to you know the silos of athletic programs, men bas you know men's basketball. Beth Tarina is still one of the best coaches in her trade at softball, who's been doing it consistently. Crazy how we got and hurt stable too. for his long. I mean, that is Joe Oliva's best hire. Yeah, but that was an accident, right? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, no, no. We, we, we hired, he fell ass backwards into both of them. He hired the Alabama Eddie Nunez, guy. Eddie Nunez hired Will Wade. He hired the Al <laughs> Alabama no guy. None. And then the guy left. And then she, he, they had to hire her, and then it turned out to be the best thing that happened. And he had to. He was forced. It's crazy. Yes. Um, God, and Eddie like Nunez, not. who is the athletic director at New Mexico State, hired, hired Will Wade. Um <laughs> And if, Does everybody know this story? Am I the only one that done what happened? How, how did that go down? Well, I mean, Eddie Nunez within the athletic department kind of, he, he oversaw basketball. That was his specialty. Oh, he just gave him this he is came, your guy. He came from Florida with Billy Donovan. Right. Is where they got Eddie Nunez from, and he saw what basketball looked like successful. I mean, he was a part of those two national championships back-to-back. Uh, -back. Um, and when he got over to LSU, he was kind of overseeing the basketball hire. Um and that's what that was coming off of Trent Johnson, you know what I mean? And Johnny Jones, like when 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 Nunez got here, they were hiring Trent Johnson, and then you know then they hired Johnny Jones. How and, boring was the Trent Johnson offenses? They were oh going. God. They were just put, they were just putting <laughs> oh a product out there. It's like all right, LSU oh, basketball is going to play on Tuesdays they had, and Thursdays. They had band members playing on the team. Yeah. I mean, it was it was it was a joke. Um, <laughs> that really is ridiculous when you see that. I mean, what's going on here? It's insane. The, oh, it was insane. I, I heard so many stories from like the. Me too. I'll never forget Trent Johnson said, um, 
like like LSU was like finally starting to kind of like hit a little honey hole of like local talent. You know, like Marcus Thornton was coming through mm-hmm. here, Glenn Davis and and Tyrus Thomas and Garrett had all kind of like come through, and he had had that 09 team that had a lot of Louisiana yep. flavor on it. And he said to like a circle one night, like I'm not recruiting Louisiana kids, and like people were like, "Why? You just went to the, you you just you just took North Carolina to their best game in the tournament with nothing but Louisiana kids. Why would you not?" And it was just you were talking about bad fit. Yeah, that was a bad. Could have been worse. That was a that was a terrible fit. 